I recognise that gentleman from his back. Hello, Eddie. Hello, Gary. It looks like a scene from Clarkson's farm there. We're going into Pepper at the moment. Needs impregnating. What are you doing with that bit of kit in your hand? Oh, we're checking for a phenolic breakdown on the uh, the black service heads. Because they have a problem with the uh, surface voltage. Oh, that sounds ultra complicated. So you're going to just check to see if there's any voltage coming through those black plastic insulators. Is that the thinking? That's it, yeah. Okay, so, so let's see. Yeah, check. So that's nothing? No, nothing at all? Okay, so there we go. Oh, oh dear. So what's that suggesting to me? We've got surface voltage. Okay, so if I was to grab those fuses and pull them out, we don't actually know how many volts that could be present on the insulator that we think's there. That's right, yes. So hence the rubber glove, and you said that's a contact voltage. You have to press against the surface in order to get a voltage? Yes, uh, it, it, as you can see, it's, it's not um, contactless. Yeah. It has to physically be touching it. Electric okay. to be able to work. Okay. And is this a problem up and down the country or is this just the problem with this service head? Oh, this is nationwide. And how would I know if the service head had a problem compared to other service heads? Because this is obviously a three phase one. Is it the same for single phase? It's exactly the same for single phase. It's, it, it's the plastic that's the issue. Okay. And is there any colour there that might indicate that it's maybe one that gives me a problem? Yeah, the black service heads are the, the, the ones with the issue. So if it was grey, we'd probably had that problem removed. Is that right? That's correct, yeah, that would be the newer plastics. Okay, so if we now can measure the voltage, we can see what is actually present there. You've got an instrument down here. At the other end of the lead is connected to a protective earth. So if you press onto that, I'll try and get a good shot of it. So we'll see what voltage you get. So that's five volts, yeah. As you move it around, we get different voltages in different places. Yeah, yeah, it does change throughout. Okay, so you're pressing on there and we're receiving a voltage. Now the highest voltage we got was 10 volts. So as an yeah. electrician, obviously we're gonna come into these with caution because obviously we are aware of, what's the word you used about this breakdown? What's it called? Phenolic breakdown. Okay, so the material it's made from has caused itself to effectively start leaking its voltage. Now whose problem is this? Whose responsibility is this service head? Uh, this is uh, for the DNO to sort out. So as we come into an installation like this, we should first of all, you're wearing a rubber glove, we should check to see if there is any voltage leak. If there is, it's the DNO's problem, not the electrician's, is that right? That's correct, but we've got the responsibility to report it. And what um, phone number would we have to ring in order to report it? We'd ring uh, 105. Okay. And the, the this particular problem is classed as an A19. On their regulations, they have a graph of different bolts having different grades basically you've got your a's your b's and your c's okay your a's are your top ones okay and each one of them is a different type of fault either a broken service head or exposed conductive parts and then one of them which is a19 is your surface voltage so they're taking it really seriously so how long do we expect before the dno would be out to check this themselves normally speaking they're out within a few hours Okay, so we're expected to see them either today or first thing tomorrow morning? I would have thought so, yes. And what are they going to do to that service? Are they going to just leave it or are they going to replace it? Normally speaking, they'd have to replace it. And that would be those grey ones. So beware out there, if you see these black service heads, whether they be single or three phase, that we should really you know, go to them with caution and there is a chance that a voltage could leak through. Do we have a problem with a risk of electric shock? Quite easily, it's been reported well over 50 volts. So once you're getting past that, you, you are getting into the realms of electric shock. Yeah, once you go above touch volts, 50 volts AC. So you need to report those to the DNO. Thanks for that, Eddie.